Hey, my name is Kian. I am a first year medical student, and today I'm going to tell you 10 reasons why I absolutely love, love. the iPad Pencil and the iPad Pro. So I'm in first year medical school, which means I've done quite a bit of university before this, lots of note taking, but this is the first time that I have tried using the iPad Pro and I absolutely love it. More specifically, I have been using the app Notability. There is a purchase for it. However, I think it is 100% worth it. First reason why I love the iPad is it's way less to carry. This is significantly lighter than the MacBook. I have the 13 inch MacBook Pro, so way lighter. And also every book that you need, every notebook, it's on here. That may not sound like a big deal, but try carrying a backpack with like three or four textbooks that are this thick every day for eight years of your life and your back will thank you. In Notability, they have these multiple paper settings, which I love. So you can change the paper settings and what I personally use is the grid view. If you're someone like me who likes things to be perfectly lined up, the grid view is perfect for you because not only do you have the horizontal lines so that you're writing nice and straight, you also have the vertical lines so that if you're writing lists or columns or you're having like three things on a page, they are lined up. Third reason is you have a billion pen settings available within Notability. You have so many colors, you have hypothetically an infinite amount of ink that never runs out. You also have a highlighter, you have so many different thicknesses, you can change the brush stroke so you can have it sensitized so that when you push harder it gets thicker, or you can change the settings so that it's consistently always the same width. I think that that is so cool. So the iPad Pro really mixes the benefits of a typed or written document on your computer with the benefits of handwriting. And a huge thing that I love about typed up notes is that you can search them. So you can do command F or go into that search bar and look for a keyword and find the specific place on the document where it talks about that word. The program notability is really smart. And if you handwrite a word, you can search for that word and it will find it amongst the handwritten text. That blows my mind. Whether you're printing or whether you're writing in cursive, it is still able to pick up what you have written. Another reason why I love Notability is that it does external backup to basically any major drive that is out there. They've got Google Drive, they've got Dropbox, they've got OneDrive, they've got iCloud. So if you have multiple accounts for these different sort of Dropboxes, you can back up your notes to all of these places. The next reason why I love Notability is because you are able to integrate multimedia. You can put links in, you can put photos, you can drag full PDFs in and draw on them. You can drag images straight off the internet. So easy, so cool. I think a picture is worth a thousand words. Further, you can take photos in the moment or in the lecture. So for me, lectures are recorded. This isn't such a big deal. But if they weren't and a presenter had a slide up that wasn't uploaded, you can take a photo and then Notability will have that photo and you can drag it in, you can move it around, you can edit it and put it directly in your notes. And after that, you can write on top of it and annotate it. The next thing that I love is, I think it's called the Clipper tool so life-changing. So I talked earlier about how I like things all lined up and I don't know about you, but one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm writing is if I'm writing a line and I kind of want one sentence to fit in a line and then I get to that last word and you just gotta like squash it in there. Worst feeling in the world. With the clipper tool, you can sort of circle that sentence, move it over, shrink it. If it's crooked or slanted, you can sort of realign it. If you think that a sentence or a paragraph fits better somewhere else, you just drag it and insert it. It is amazing. After taking notes for so long in Notability, I went back to pen and paper, I was writing, and for some reason my brain was like, oh, I'll just clip it and move it. And it's like, oh right, pen and paper doesn't work like that. So that is a huge, huge advantage. A uh, notability, I really, really love the organizational settings. You have major categories, subcategories, and notes within those. You can move them around. You can color code things. It just makes things really, really nice that you have like this binder with dividers, except it's virtual on notability. So all your notes are really well organized. And if you want to move things around within that organization or edit that organization, you totally can. The iPad pencil, this thing is amazing. I can write normally and 
it's no different. It's not like a stylus or a weird touch screen. The distance between sort of the display here is really, really thin. So when you have the pencil, it feels like there's no distance between the pencil and the lines that you're making. It's very, very responsive. It's pressure sensitive. So once again, thicker lines when you push harder, thinner lines when you lift off. It's very, very natural. The pen itself or the pencil is really, really sleek. It's smooth, it's easy to hold. One thing that I've noticed is there's very little resistance between the screen and the pencil. So I've actually been getting fewer hand cramps using this compared to pen and paper. You do have to recharge it. You can plug it in um, to a USB charger or you can plug it in directly to your iPad. The charging time is extremely rapid and the battery life is amazing. I can sit in lectures from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and if this thing started at 100% it will still be going strong. The last really cool thing about the iPad is that you can do split screens. So one thing that I really like to do when I'm taking notes, if I'm sitting in the lecture theater I'll be watching the presenter, watching their slides. They pre-upload the slides so half of my screen is their pre-uploaded slides and then the other half is my notes on notability and this is amazing for a couple of reasons if they switch the slide too fast and you just miss a word it's on your iPad you can put it in if there's photos I like to screenshot them and drag them into notability because then I'm still handwriting my notes but any sort of figures I can still include and they're the exact same as the lecture figures anyways thank you so much for watching this video I hope it helps you if you are considering the iPad pencil or notability it has changed my life. I absolutely love it. It has taken my methods that I have used before for note taking and just enhanced them, made them like a hundred times better. I will be back hopefully next week with a regular vlog, but if you liked this style video or if there's something else you want to see me talk about or weigh in on, please comment below. I read all the comments. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.